Test data often has noise, offsets, and other anomalies that can prevent you from estimating models correctly. System Identification Toolbox lets you get rid of those anomalies. Let's start by looking at our frequency domain dataset, data f. As we can see from the frequency plot, this dataset has excessive amount of noise at higher frequencies. We can filter this noise out by pre-processing the data. We can do it by selecting the range of frequencies where the amount of noise is limited. We specify a name for a new dataset, data f2, and insert it into the tool. As you can now see in this plot, we filtered out excessive noise at higher frequencies. Now let's look at our time domain data, data t. As this plot shows, both the input and output signals have non-zero offsets. This oftentimes will prevent you from estimating the models correctly. You can get rid of the offsets by selecting this option from the pre-processing menu. This creates a new dataset that is inserted into the tool. Note that here you can also remove trends, filter the data, resample it, and do other manipulations with the data to get rid of anomalies. Now when we created two cleaned up datasets, we can use the frequency dataset for estimating the model and the time domain dataset for validating the results. This concludes the demo.